That's the beauty of life. Things happen. I don't like holding this like this either, but I don't have a choice. Hmm. You are good. Sorry, y'all. Phone hung up. This one is. Oh, is it dead? Oh. Sorry, y'all. Won't take us long to finish this up. We were, I was almost done. Are right, Brittany, were you able to pin anything? Mm -hmm. yeah. It did. I'll just try it again real quick. Okay, yeah, we're back. Not gonna hold y'all long, but that one hung up. Thank God we got more than one phone. Look, more than one television camera. <laughs> um, but what I was saying, well, let me get back a couple of seconds to get back on. But I'm so glad we found me. I don't even have to panic when stuff happens. Like, oh, well, let me get back on and finish talking because we were talking. But, um. Yeah, both We good? Okay, we're back. Yeah. So, um. I'll give a couple more seconds. Yeah, okay. I'm glad y'all made yeah, it back. Switching back over, yeah. Okay, yeah. Y'all come on. Um, the other phone, the other television prompter went out. <laughs> yeah, we're back, Sadija. Love you. Hi, Phyllis. We love you. All right, we're getting close to where we were. So, um, so anyway, what I was saying last night, what I was saying was that, you know, uh, after everybody left, I went back upstairs to the, to the room where y'all stuff is, and I was just praying. I was just talking to God, and I was like, you know, Nobody's gonna carry this baby like me because it's my baby and the same for you like whatever God So the whole point is because I know Brittany means well But if it was the other way around and everything was riding on Brittany and I was over there acting crazy and delirious I don't think she would appreciate it much either. So it's like and I was just telling Thad, I was like, just like all the times we've taken it for granted to, at the VA that, that we're gonna have patients to come through the door like what if they stop coming through the door you know, it's like a lot of times, like, oh, my goodness, we got these patients. They were so busy today. But really, in actuality, we got to be happy that we have patients because no patients, no paycheck, you know. And so, anyway, but I'm sure the people who are running the VA, what you think that? They have a different perspective on how many patients come through the door because they we need the patients, you know, because without it, there's no reason to have us there as employees. And so, I'm learning a lot, you know, in what God has called us to do. I'm learning things. I'm way more sensitive to people who own their own businesses because I understand it's, it is hard. It is not easy at all. Um, so, yeah, we're back. And I just had to realize that last night that no matter how hard Brittany tries or Thad tries or Tabitha tries or whoever tries, um, nobody is going to care for this baby like me because it's my baby and i was talking to our amazing sister who makes the onesies for us and she, we talked it was um, one o'clock last night when i got through doing the orders matter of fact it was almost two probably she was like are you up she's up making the onesies y'all and i was like i was just about to go to bed so she so the onesies get dropped out to me at almost two o'clock in the morning last night this morning I didn't say I'm in the bed. I said, okay, let me come back and get the shirts because she's being true to her assignment, making onesies at 10, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm being true to even after all that yesterday to get back up and go get them from, she brings them to me. She was like, Kelly, nobody's going to care this baby like you because it's your baby. And I'm like, she said, because your real babies, you know, nobody's going to care for your children the way you do. I know like my brother brought his baby over, love him to death. I said, if you don't come get this little boy. Because I love him, but I can send him home. See, when he cuts up and starts screaming, I can tell my brother, I love him, come get him. He's been over here two hours, it's long enough. I already got little kids. I got five of my own over here. But when my kids start screaming, I got to work that out because they're mine. And so my whole point is, stay true to your assignment. Like, don't get upset. And I learned, this helped. I knew that, but it, to live it out last night, uh, it helped me a lot to say, you know what? That's why I got to watch what's going on. That's why I'm there because people are like, you can't do it all. I tell you what, I'm going to make sure we get these orders right because I have to. This is my assignment. And it's not just a, it's not the shirt. It's the word. We are sending God's message out. We're sending his word out. And that is not something to be taken lightly. This ministry that God has given us, the Warrior Nation, this is an assignment. So even on those days when I want to stay in the bed, I have to get up. Whether you guys get up or not, I have to stay in position because this is my assignment. What's your assignment? And are you being true to that assignment? Let's think about that today. What has God called you to do? And are you being true to that assignment? And that's our prayer today. You know, that whatever it is that God has called us to do, y'all, we got to stay true to it. And don't expect people to carry your baby like you. I just can't pass it off. I just can't. Even the emails are like, well, you got to pass emails off. I'm like, you know, I don't know if I can do that because then I won't know what's going on. And I clearly, I need to know what's going on. 
Because people are not going to respond the way that I respond. And I'm not saying it's wrong the way other people respond. But there's a certain standard that I'm trying to set. And so that takes a... Look, you got to cry before you walk. And Brittany is faithful. It's, I love Brittany to death. But Brittany got to understand that this is this is beyond playing fussy. This is serious. And, and last night she was like, you're right. You know, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. But it's like, there's nothing against her because I can't do it without her. But I just need her to understand that this is serious business. This is not just some, we're, we're not, this This isn't just us making cookies or, and there's nothing wrong with making cookies. I'm supposed to be making some, some, can really make some cookies. But this is God's word. And we got to make sure we're not mishandling what God has given us because the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. And we're making these declarations like Nancy, amen, Nancy, that my annual salary, my monthly salary. We're making these declarations. I've been speaking over my life for a long time. But with that, comes a level of responsibility and with that comes some sleepless nights because one thing about it you have got to work your ministry you've got to work your ministry you've got to work what God is giving you and so God is nothing for God to increase us we've learned that with the prayer of Jabez but in that y'all we've got to be committed to what God has called us to do and it's not going to be easy because the enemy does not want this to be a success. He does not want your God-given assignment to be a success. And I'm going to say this and we're going to pray and I'm going to get off. But my best friend, she's on here right now, Mary. Um, she got a miracle shirt. And she she's a little older than me. She'll be 66 in a couple, couple days. What's today? I got a week. She took a miracle. She's been having some knee problems. So she took a miracle shirt. And check this out, y'all. And put it. Put her leg in it. It's, hey, she told me today. Yes, it's always late. She's been kind of walking a little weird for a while now because she stretched out, stressed her, her knee out. She put her leg in the miracle shirt. She came with this much. She said, Bessie, guess what I did? Guess what I did? She said, I put my leg in a miracle shirt. Y'all are so creative. Just when I thought I had figured it all out. She put her leg in a miracle shirt. And do you know her knee is healed? She wore the miracle shirt around her leg for two days. And she was on the day stretching out and doing stuff that I can't even do. But she said, look at me. I'm healed. She said, now I need the I am healed shirt. I was like, okay, bestie. So I was like, that is why the struggle is so great. Because there's a lot of opposition. Um, a lot of sleepless nights with the whole thing that God is doing. But the reason why, I, as I was mopping my floor this morning, I was like, you know what, Brittany? I said, that's why the struggle is so great. I said, because of the anointing that is resting upon it. Because one thing about it, it can't be denied. What God is doing with us, with the ministry, with Warrior Apparel, what he's doing. Uh, I am not frustrated, Crystal. God bless you. Uh, what God is doing is is so amazing that it's going to come with opposition because the enemy does not like it. And so, you know, with that being said, it's all good. But I just wanted to encourage y'all today to stay true to your assignment. Brittany and I, Brittany's like, I got to be true to this assignment. I'm a part of this aside. I was like, yes, you are. And it's like, and with that, we're going to be true to it. That is going to be true to it. But whatever y'all are having to do, just make sure you're being true to your assignment that God has given you. So, no, I'm not mad with Brittany. It's, it's amazing how people jump on this video, hear it for a few seconds, and then have something negative to say. You know, before you make an assumption, I would appreciate if you would probably go back and watch the other video as well as this one. Because one thing about it, this is not any, anything negative on Brittany. I was making a point. So, you know, that's the thing that a lot of times we hear a portion of something and then we make assumptions that are not proper. But um, with that being said, before you pass judgment on what I'm talking about, it would be good if you watch the entire video. Because one thing about it, I love Brittany. And I get sick of people always coming in here saying, oh, you're mean to Brittany. If I was so mean to Brittany, Brittany would not be sitting right here. You know, and like that, say, oh, Brittany be snapping too. Y'all just don't see. <laughs> They see the sweet quiet. They see Brittany sitting back there like this. Sitting back there. But y'all didn't see how Brittany was acting last night. Like, and then get smart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She got smart. Me like three times last night. Yeah. Tell Brittany her. be getting smart. Tell her. <laughs> what she do? We got to hold the camera. She snapped on me. Wait. Which way? That she way. snapped on me a couple times last night. What she, she do, she Dad? Sleeping. You remember? Uh, she, what, yeah, the, yeah. With the box. What was it? What was it with the box? She snapped. I said, okay, Brittany. Uh... <laughs> The hill, the now. box I brought upstairs. Oh, she said, uh, yeah. I said you should have pulled them out the box instead of bringing the heavy box up here. Yeah, she yeah. said it's snappy too. You should have pulled them out the box instead of bringing the whole box up here. I said, but we need the, the shirt. Yeah, because it was heavy. Brittany was snapping, y'all. <laughs> so, so Thad cut up the step of the box. Brittany looking at Thad with the box about to fall. 
You shouldn't have brought that whole box up here in the first place. You should have just got the stuff out of the box. Me, me and that, look at that Brittany. Like, see, y'all, see, okay. <laughs> see, like I said, I'm going to have to show y'all Brittany. And so we gonna, ain't going to be able to see it because I'm going to do better. Man, I was like, we gonna catch her in action. We want to just, we want to have a secret camera. Especially when she hungry. When she hungry, y'all, y'all gotta Brittany see Brittany in secret. action. I promise you, we, we love Brittany. She, she is awesome. But y'all, I know this is improper English, but Brittany be snapping, okay? Brittany be snapping, y'all. She was snapping out on that. It was hilarious. It was like, and then she say, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Brittany. I told y'all one, one more thing. I did tell y'all about the other night we was looking for what was it we were looking for, Thad? I think uh, it was some blue ocean, the, the, the dark blue rainbow tees or something. We were looking for a size. And we didn't see it. Brittany said it's under there. <laughs> y'all, so me and Thad were looking. <laughs> and what we she and what she pointed to was an empty space. <laughs> no, and so we said under where she said, What? I said, I said, I said, you said it was under there. No, I didn't. She said, I didn't say anything like that. There's nothing under there. And then they looked at each other like, yes, you did. Brittany be snapping and Brittany be tripping. So I'm just letting y'all know. So look, if y'all get the wrong thing, I'm going to give you Brittany's email. <laughs> okay. But, um. Oh, it's all good and we slept in a little bit later today so we feel good we gotta go do some work now i just want to make y'all laugh uh in spite of everything the whole point was stay true to your assignment it was nothing against britney britney though i love her we good we good uh okay got you and so and we also have been emailing some of our warriors that we knew were, that we saw their address were in florida to touch base and so far everybody has said that they are well Oh, she's going to send us a box of chocolates. Thank you. Uh, so we've been seeing some people. Um, amen. Oh, TL said, you're trying to find your voice. You're exercising boldness. Definitely. Uh, so we've been emailing some of those who in Florida to make sure everything's okay with them. Uh, and so far, everybody said they're safe. So thank God for that. So y'all just go into prayer real quick. Let's get off. I got to go. Uh, Belinda, thank you, classmate. Belinda said, y'all are hilarious. Okay, y'all, let's go into prayer real quick. We got to go back and get to work. Uh, it says, you ladies are having fun and join with another. Thank you. Thank you. So, Lord, we thank you to be able to laugh <laughs> sometimes when I really want to cry. We thank you, Father, just for allowing us to have this time with the Warrior Nation, our family. You're so amazing, God. We thank you, God. Today is the, a day filled with just breakthroughs and reconciliations and restorations and healings. We thank you for healing my bestie's knee. God, thank you that as she put that miracle shirt on her knee, God, you worked a miracle in her life. Well, I don't know why you chose to do it with Warrior Apparel. I don't know why you're resting your hand upon us the way that you are because we don't deserve it. But one thing about it, what you are doing through us cannot be denied. And we just want to thank you for today, God. All of the count countless testimonies that have come in god we thank you for those we do not take it lightly and that's why we're trying so hard to stay true to this assignment even in the midst of much opposition father we bless you today lord we pray for our brothers and sisters in the path of hurricane irma and once again we pray for your mercy god won't you please have mercy father we know there is nothing for you to turn this storm around and so god that is our prayer today that you will turn this storm around god that will go back to the sea where it came from without destruction father you're in control of everything and we just trust us, God, and even in this, we do not understand it is working for our good. God, we thank you for being so awesome. We thank you for blessing our time together, Lord. Thank you for this amazing weekend. Please allow the Warrior Nation to have a wonderful weekend filled with laughter and joy. Unexpected checks in the mail. We keep getting those testimonies, God. Let it be so today that the Warriors will go out to their mailbox and find unexplained checks there, God. Unexplained credits in their bank accounts, God. Thank you that you're increasing them in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And you're also growing them financially so they can be strong for the church. Father, we honor you today. Please enlarge their territories. Please grant them favor. Please rest your hand upon them, God. And please see, keep them free from all hurt, harm, and danger. Guys, we go out into this weekend. We armor up with the better truth around our ways, with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness, with sandals of peace. We care that should the faith and the soul of the spirit, which is your word, God. Thank you for your word, that it be hidden in our hearts, that we will not sin against you. Father, we love you. We worship you. We magnify you. We adore you. And we thank you for this time together. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah and amen. I love you guys so much. Look, we got a million miracle tanks. So if you want to take, we more than likely can get it out to you today. Pink and black and the non-bling, we have a bunch of them somehow. And so we're, um, I guess I got happy when I ordered them. We got a bunch of those to send out. Don't forget your miracle throws. We're well into our second order with those. So please get in because we don't want it to fill up 
and then we're not able to get you guys in on the second round. So please go ahead and order your miracle throws. Uh, don't forget the onesies are about to be restocked. We're going to put those back up today. And so we love you guys. Have a great weekend. We're probably working too hard to come back on later, but we'll try to touch base in the morning. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you later. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Tell them bye, Dynamite. Bye. Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, y'all. Thank you, Lord. I like your heart and it blesses me. God wants us to be sold out for him. For me, this message is really not about Brittany. Brittany just happened to be the person that made a mistake and became an example. Thank you of how God wants us to take his work seriously. The enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy God's work. God bless you guys for the work you do for God's kingdom. Gwendolyn, that just brought healing to my soul. Thank you and may God bless you and multiply you in every area of your life. We love you guys very much. Love you, Crystal. Bye, y'all. Amen. That was a good word. Thank you, Jesus.